Okay, so before I forget, we it's important to add some actual time to when these things happened. So what we will do is add some time at the very end, content type, but then just after this, I will echo a break tag. Extend that and then I will echo a spun so that we can style this differently. So there will be some time in here. So that time will be set by the date. So I think we should set it to a variable date is equal to string. Hmm. I think let's use date formula. So this is up to you to decide how you want this to look, but I will use small letter J S capital S like that. So this will show me the day. And then uh, what else do you want to see month, maybe capital M and copy to Y. So these are the keywords here. So you can put some other characters in between here, like slashes, like so. If you want to, they will be added there and ignored. So you are free to add some more characters here as, as long as they are not part of these keywords. So we might want to know also the hour, the minute and the seconds. But if we just leave it like this, it's going to show us the current time. But I want to be able to choose the actual time that I want to display. So I'll put a comma and put the time here, which is inside the column date. But it can't run with this, with this type of data. So I'll put this in brackets and use the formula string to string to time to convert this to a Unix timestamp. Okay, so date, and I'm just going to drop it over there. So let's see what happens. And there we go. So we have that date there. We might need to know if it's AM or PM. So I'm just going to put a space and put an A there. But I want to style this. So let's do some styling. So I'll say float. Float right, font size 11 pixels, the color. So let's see the color here. Let's put 888. These are grays. Okay, I think uh, that works out. And let's say uh, display, so I can move it a little bit away from the edge. Display, inline, block, and then margin, right, uh, 10 pixels. Okay, so that has worked out. So at least we have some time here to show 19th January 2021 and what time it was when this happened. Okay, great. So now let's add some more notifications to, to when you like a, uh, let's say you follow someone, we get that notification. So that's very easy to do. Let's go to, let's go back here to our folder and let's see likes dot. It's inside Ajax, is it? Oh, we didn't do the Ajax there. So let's go inside the Ajax anyway. And what I want to copy is this add notification right here. So I'm going to copy here and Boom. So I want to copy that into the other like because we didn't put this notification when somebody 
when the like refreshes so i'm going to open like.php and we're going to try and replicate what we did here so this is uh there we go so the only difference is that we are getting single post here and single post there yep i think so that's it yes uh-huh so there's like post and follow user so now the thing here is um from what I have seen, because we pass through this, whether we are liking a post or liking something or unliking something. So we still go through here. So this is not really a good place to add a notification because we're supposed to only add a notification when somebody is actually liking something, not when they are unliking something. So what we will need to do is follow these functions to where they reside and for example like post this one is inside the the post class so let us open a classes and post there we go so in here there's um, a like post where is it Get one post, delete post, I own, and like post, finally. Okay, so let's look at the instances where we're actually liking a post. And this is one of them down here, because we see insert, we are creating something new here. Okay, so right after this, let's add our notification right there. And let's see if it has everything it needs. First of all, there's a session ID, which is ever present. And we know it's a like. So the only thing we need is the single post. Okay. So let's grab the single post, which where content ID is coming from. So let me see where this ID is coming from so let's go up up, up 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 okay so we're getting from likes here and we're reading an update likes okay so we are not actually getting the content that we want here let me remove the wrapping of words as usual Okay, so what we will do is go back to like.ajax because I want us to still get single post there. So I'm going to cut this because I don't need this anymore here. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove this as well. And I'm going to remove... Uh, this is unnecessary now. is wrapping over words again there we go okay so all that is now gone so let's come to like oh it's not actually like.php it's post class dot php so i want to retrieve that single post right here so post get post so of course i'm going to need to instantiate this post class so let me make sure I have included. Oh, do I need to? No, I do not. Where am I? Oh, there we go. So I need to establish this one. I'm going to say is equal to new post class. Just like that. So post post there get single post, but I need this ID get one post so I'm going to get that from the content ID which is this one so there we go so this should work let's give it a spin oh actually no let me copy all this here because we'll be updating as well so update likes so where we are unsetting we don't want to do this we just want to do this where we are 
adding more likes so paste bam okay so now it shouldn't matter whether we are using ajax or not because the same classes will be running anyway so let me go to this user and like uh, maybe that post and then let's go to our notifications hmm it's not showing because uh, let me go and like my own stuff so click let's come back okay there you go you liked your post the other one didn't show because i'm not the content owner because we told you to just retrieve uh, when i'm the content owner so let me see what this one did here okay so one thing here i must do before i forget is go to notifications.php right here i have to give the order type before limit so order by id descending so that we get the latest notifications at the top okay so there we go so you liked your post mm -hmm. what would be nice though is to have a little bit of the post itself here maybe some text or something like that and that can be done later so we'll see how that can be done so that we can differentiate between these two so there's that and there's that okay great so let me do the same for when a user uh, follows somebody so let me go back to notifications.php the post class sorry so i'm going to just copy everything here and then go to the user class then let's say follow user this is the one right here so let's go to where we are creating a new a new entry here and do this so the only thing i will change here is instead of like it's going to be is follow cutted for yep it is follow this remains the same single post however single post will come from the oh so i was instantiating the post inside the post itself isn't that cool so here i'm going to use user let me just say user user and i think get user is the one i'm looking for and then where is the id content id let me remove the wrapping here it's confusing me so that is the id that's confusing though my book user id where is this coming from oh okay it's at the top there great so let me put it here okay so this is enough let me copy that to the top here so we are not putting here where we are unsetting we are putting here where we are following okay follow then now let's go to single notification so where there is activity here there is liked if activity is equal to like there 
so let's add a few more here so we're going to say else and I'm going to copy this so if it's equal to follow we'll say followed your profile I think that's about it so let's give it a spin so now if I go to this one click follow follow so let's come back to notifications and browse here we'll see that there's one here with profile oh so we are getting this error here where we are saving zeros and zeros so I'll need to check on that one follow content ID zero content owner and then profile okay so the content ID and the content owner in this case are the same so let's come back to content ID let's come back to user.php here uh, single post okay so we have to go to functions where it says add notification here I think this is where the problem is for this add notification so what we don't have is content ID so it starts with a zero and then if it's set post ID so in this case it wasn't set so we need an else statement here so copy else uh -huh. so else here is uh, let's try gender is a gender type profile oh so we already have this if statement great the only thing we have to do is change the content ID to the user ID and that's it so let's delete these defective ones that's one two just those last two and save so let's try this again let me click here to undo let's see if it has actually saved something which it hasn't that's good let's follow now let's see if there's a new record there is but there's also a like record here 